Greetings folks, welcome to a chat from the engineering desk. We're experiencing a bit of autumn rain at the moment and what would be nicer than to be able to see how much rain I've had from inside my house. So this is an opportunity to crack on with a little project that I've been wanting to do for a long time which is the electronic rain gauge and today we're going to be talking about the the instrument itself how i designed it how it works the thinking behind it how it's going to be put together and so on and so forth how it's going to work so let's get started all right as you can see i've got the complete unit displayed on the screen here so what i'm going to do go ahead and talk about the parts one at a time over here I've got the base for the unit and that over here has got the pivot point for the tipping bucket this over here is um, guides for the tipping bucket to keep it centralized over here over here in the side I'm going to mount my sensors and in the bottom I'm going to put some drainage holes for the water as it tips out of the tipping bucket. The bucket itself looks like this. It's got its pivot point over there which rests on the base. Then over here is the edge where the water gets diverted either to this side over there or the other side. The housing itself is basically just a piece of tube. The funnel, which rests on top of the unit, looks like this. And that is where the rain gets gathered and diverted into the unit. So getting back to the unit itself. Um, there's the base. There's the funnel and there's the tipping bucket now if I turn it on its side you can see what it looks like now if I go back here and be with me for a moment Let's do that if I select just the bucket like that and I select move I can demonstrate I should be able to demonstrate there we go how the bucket's going to be rotating so it's going to do that now obviously the, the pivot point is going to be here but it's currently rotating about its design axis over there. So what happens is as the water falls it over here, it just turn the base off. As the water falls it over here, it becomes heavier and then tips over and then starts filling the other side till it's full and heavy enough to make it tip over again and the cycle repeats itself now what I've done let's get that to stay on if I spin this um, I have gone and put some stoppers in here I made them five millimeters holes so let's make that the height I'd say was about eight millimeters so that's how it's going to be working 
we can go back to showing the entire thing there we go there's our tipping bucket uh, let's just fix that design it has um, gone and edited the side supports because I had them selected so let's just undo all of that there's a unit as it looks at the moment because I've actually got this working at this stage and I'm not at this stage wanting to talk about how one uses the cat tools but rather go over how this is going to be doing the measurement for us let's get rid of that that's what the internals look like I printed it in PLA and I have gone very generous on the uh, amount of plastic that goes into it as one can see but that can be refined because obviously one doesn't need to have that much plastic in it these walls can be a lot thinner on all these parts especially the um, housing that definitely doesn't need to have such a thick wall in fact at the moment the thing is strong enough that one could actually stand on it and nothing would happen to it so I printed these four parts the <clears throat> drilled some holes in the base over there let's do that again drilled some holes in the base for the end stops drilled them 4.2 tapped them 5 millimeters and just put some 5mm cheese head screws in for stoppers for the rocker or the tipping bucket and then on the side of this I just drilled a hole for the cord to come in where the uh, electrical connections get done and what I did for the <coughs> infrared transmitter and receiver is I just drilled some holes on the sides here and the bucket then obscures that beam and then it counts once as it pivots left counts another time as it pivots right and currently I've got it just adding one millimeter of rain for every tip and strangely enough that's very close to the actual measurement that I'm making with a tub that I put next to the rain gauge for comparison so there you have it, there's the design and physical construction of our rain gauge. I hope it makes sense. The, the thing has been working so we know that it works. <coughs> it's a good design. It can be refined to optimize the plastic usage. And next we're going to be talking about the electrics that are hooked up to it. As well as the inspiration for the electronic side of the project which is actually a complete weather station so thanks for joining me here today stay safe and i'll catch up with you next time thanks bye <laughs>